Prayer to the Holy Ghost Holy Ghost, is the third person of Godhead. The actual power of God in operation. The results we get many times as believers, are the acts of God through His Holy Spirit. When God wants to do or accomplish a thing, He does it through His Spirit. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 gives credence to this. The Bible says here, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. So the much we can accomplish as Christians and believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, depends to a very large extent on our affinity, and our alliance or alignment with the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit, is the power of God at work, that He is sent to domicile with us at all times, for our continual enablement. And being that He is our guide, our comforter, the helper, our empower and the enforcer of the mind of God, sent to us by God. It will be foolery to think that we can ignore Him and still keep getting results from God. Because God and His Spirit are one. And ignoring or ignorance of this truth, is itself a limitation on the side of a believer. So this time, we shall be talking to the Holy Spirit of God. The power of God in action in prayer. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description. Let us pray. Dear blessed Holy Spirit of God. We recognize and welcome you as the power of God in action. Come into my life and the affairs of my life and existence. Come and take over your rightful place and position in my life. For without you, I can do nothing. My dearest helper, comforter and guide. Come and take full charge of my life. For my body is your temple according to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. It says. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? and you are not your own? Therefore dear blessed Holy Spirit, I submit unto you, take charge over me to do and accomplish the wills of the Father. Come into my life and inhabit me. For your temple I am, in the name of Jesus Christ I pray you. For the Lord Jesus makes it clear to me in John 16 verse 7 saying, Nevertheless I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you, but if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment, of sin, because they do not believe in me. That it is expedient that you come and live in me, to teach me all things and to bring to my remembrance all of the Father's wills, concerning me and his other creations. Therefore dear Lord the blessed Holy Spirit, as the Bible says that when you come, you shall reprove the world of sin, and of judgment, and of righteousness, and also bring to our remembrance all that the Father requires of us. Therefore please come dear blessed Holy Spirit. Come and reprove the world around me of sin and of judgment and righteousness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and keep me in remembrance of all that the Lord requires of me at all times, in every situation and at every point. Dearest Holy Spirit of the Almighty Father, come and always be my guide. For with you I will not go wrong or get into trouble. Come and always go before and after me. Just as the scripture says in Isaiah 30 verse 21, Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it, whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left. Therefore blessed Holy Spirit, come and be my guide, my shepherd, and my instructor at all times, in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me their Lord if I have grieved your Holy Spirit by my actions or inactions. As the scripture says in Ephesians chapter 4 verses 30 to 32. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, and wrath, and anger, and clamor, and evil speaking, be put away from you, with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. I pray you dearest Lord, like David in Psalms 51 verses 11 to 13. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. 
restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Baptize me afresh dearest Lord with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Thank dear Lord for the gift and restoration of your spirit into my life, for in Jesus' glorious name I pray. Amen. Dearest and sweet Holy Spirit of the Almighty God. Go before me O Lord, to level the mountain before me and straighten out the crooked ways for me, and breaking into pieces the door of bronze and cutting it asunder the bars of irons against me. To give me the treasures of darkness and riches of hidden places. For the Father promises me this in Isaiah 45 verses 1 to 3 saying, Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings, to open before him the two-leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Come O Holy Spirit and be with me always. When I am reading guide and teach me. For the Lord promises that when you come, you will teach us all things and also bring to our remembrance his words and teachings. Come and give me insight and understanding into all that I have heard, read and meditated upon. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me also to remember and recollect what I have read whenever I needed it, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, lead me and guide me when I walk or drive or move or lay down, or sleep and in whatever I engage in, the name of Jesus Christ. Lead and instruct me in all things and at all times. Even when I am asleep, guard and guide me. Dearest Holy Spirit, always delivers me from the scheming plotting and wishes of those who desire for my downfall, in the name of Jesus. Deliver me also dear blessed Holy Spirit of God, from the powers that operate in the darkness of the night when men sleep, and those that operate in the daytime, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Holy Spirit of the living God, come and fill me and manifest in me the uncommon powers and wisdom from above, in the name of Jesus. All these I pray and ask of the dearest Holy Spirit of the Almighty Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Can you follow me to say Amen? Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.